When the House of Assembly resumes on August 1, Premier Dr. D. Orlando Smith is expected to face a no-confidence motion from the opposition of Virgin Islands Party, as well as questions about the government's investment in the indefinitely grounded BVI Airways. The no-confidence motion by opposition leader Andrew Foy is rooted in what he believes to be the mismanagement of the BVI's finances. The opposition leader is accusing Premier Smith and his administration of not sticking to the principles of transparency and accountability in governance. The motion cites examples of this as the cash flow problems of the government, missing financial statements, overspending on the cruise pier and park, $7.2 million invested in the grounded BVI airways, the $8 million diverted from the East End Long Look Sewage Project to the cruise pier development. The move comes at a time when the government, in particular the Premier, remains under increasing pressure and scrutiny from the electorate, his party, his own cabinet, and not to mention outgoing Governor John Duncan. But it remains to be seen if the sitting opposition leader will have the support of the former opposition leader and his only other opposition colleague in the House, Julian Fraser. Add to that the government's 11-member majority in the 13-member House, and the math pretty much predetermines the outcome. Meanwhile, Mr. Fraser told Claude Skelton Klein recently on his talk show, Honestly Speaking, that he has not felt a part of the VIP since members of the party voted him out in favor of Foy as chairman and later asked the governor to remove him as opposition leader. The former VIP chairman also added that he does not support the message being presented by the party to the residents of the territory. Also on the House's agenda are questions to be put to the Premier by Messrs. Fraser and Foy. The opposition leader will seek to find out from Dr. Smith when BVI Airways sought additional funding from the government and if there is a plan to recuperate the $7 million invested in the airline, which says it can't begin commercial operations unless it gets more money. Mr. Fraser's line of questioning involves asking the Premier about the government's plan of action going forward since BVI Airways' last announcement, as well as the status of the airport runway extension plans and if the government told BVI Airways it had scrapped the extension.